everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're working with uh, Topaz Studio 2, as well as um, the Nick Collection, uh, Color Effects Pro 4, and uh, Analog Effects Pro 2. So three different uh, plugins inside of Photoshop today. We're going to start out with this image right here. And we'll end up with this image here. So we're going for that nostalgic look today. So let me show you how we do this without any further ado. Let's get started. Are you ready to go back in time with me? Well, the first thing we want to do is we're going to launch uh, Color Effects Pro 4. So let's go up to the uh, filter section and let's launch color effects pro 4 and we'll get started there's some really cool uh vintage film uh filters in here i'm in the filter library here now if i go to all you'll see all my different filters or else i can go into these different categories like i'm going to go into film here and you'll notice we have faded modern branded films which is really cool we'll get into some of this stuff in some later videos but for now we we can either use nostalgic or vintage i'm going to choose vintage let's click on vintage and then see these little icons right here Click on this icon set and you'll see a bunch of different presets. Now we can go through these presets and take a look and see what kind of a look we want here. It's a good place to start with these presets here. And I kind of like, I think I like the warm shift. I think that looks really good. Let's do a comparison. Here's the original and here's with a warm shift. And I kind of like that. And then you can come over to the right of the interface here and see where it says film type, click right here. And you could hover down through the film types. So now right now that's using film type 20. Let's try some different film types. I actually like 19. I think it looks a little more old fashioned, kind of has that magazine feel to me. So I'm going to choose 19. I'm going to choose this one. Now we can come here and we can play with the saturation. You know, we can pull the saturation back a little bit. We can adjust the warmth. Make it less warm, make it more on the cool side. But I like it on the warmer side, somewhere right around in here. And then we can play with the vignette. If we move the vignette to the right, we'll lighten things up. Or we can move it to the left and darken things down. I think I'm going to go to the left. Maybe somewhere right around there. And, of course, we have brightness we can play with. Now, I have my histogram up so we can see if I'm blowing highlights out, which I think is a good thing to have on just for so we can see what we're doing. And then we can adjust uh, the grain per pixel. We can give it more grain by moving this to the left or less grain to the right. But I like the amount of grain. It was somewhere right around there. And then we have film strength. Uh, this would be the how that effect is affecting the image. So if I move this more to the right, it's going to affect it more. If I move it to the left, it will affect it less. So find the spot that you really like. So play with all these controls here so it's important. And we have control points, but I'm not going to mess with control points today in this image. It doesn't need it. But I think right there looks good. And we've come from here and went to here. So we're really moving in the right direction. I'm loving this so far. Um, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And that'll send us back into Photoshop. And next, I'm going to launch uh, Topaz Studio 2, and we're going to add some dust, dust and scratches to it to give it even a more uh, vintage look. Now I'm going to uh, duplicate my uh, background layer, and let's rename it to Studio 2, just so we know what we're doing here. And let's launch uh, Studio 2. And I'm just going to use one filter inside of uh, Studio 2 today, and that's going to be the Texture Filter, which is found right in the uh, Stylistic uh, group here. Texture, click on that. And then if you go here where it says Group, see right here, All, click on this, and go to Dust and Scratches. And here's all your Dust and Scratches in here. And I had one that I kind of picked out when I was figuring out this video for us today. And where was it? It was 36. This one right here. So let's click this on. And right away you can see it's adding dust and scratches. That's a little strong. Now you could take this opacity and you can pull it back. Now right now it's in the normal blend mode. So you can pull it back and it, and it looks really cool, right? Just like that. And so you could leave it like that or else here's another thing you can do. You can uh, go to the blend mode, change the blend mode to whenever you have black, a lot of black in the uh, texture. If you uh, switch it to screen, you'll just see the scratches themselves. Now watch, I'll pull up the scratches like this and you can see the scratches in there. But you know what? I kind of liked it in the normal blend mode. So let's go back to the normal blend mode because it's adding to that old look to me. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit, maybe somewhere around in there. And the scratches look really realistic to me. I like it. It's adding to the old feel. So here's the before 
and here's the after. And that's really simple, right? So let's go ahead and just click accept and that'll send us back into Photoshop. And there's one last thing I want to do, and I want to add a border to this to uh, add to the nostalgic look. And we'll do that next. We're going to go back into, um, I was going to say uh, Color Effects Pro uh, 4, but actually I want to go into Analog Effects Pro 2. So let's come up here to Filter, go to the Nick Collection, and find Analog Effects Pro 2. And we're going to go ahead and launch that one. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. So let's come up here where it says Classic Camera. Click on this and let's click on Camera Kit. And what I want to do is get rid of all these other filters. See where it says Film Type? Click the negative. That gets rid of that. Lens Vignette. Let's get rid of that one. Dust, Dirt and Scratches. Now we could use Dirt and Scratches in here as well. I'm going to get rid of that. But... That leaves us with the basic adjustment. So with the basic adjustment, we'll come to the right-hand side. There's a little reset here. Let's reset it and get it back to our original image. So if I click compare, you'll see no difference to the image, right? Okay, so now we're going to come over on the left-hand side of the interface. And let's come and click on the plus key next to frames right here, okay? And we'll see a bunch of different frames over here on the right. Now we have film strip here. Uh, these are different film type strip uh, emulations here. So you can click on these and see these different looks. These are not what I'm looking at, but I'll just show you some of these. It's kind of fun. And this one takes a little longer to load up right here. So as you can see, man, there's a lot of different uh, film frame variations provided here. Let's go to Film Strip and this group here. And let's go to um, White. And there's one I want to use, and that's the uh, first one right here. Gives us a nice film look. It kind of looks like maybe... Uh, a Polaroid or something like that. I kind of like it. This guy right here. And now we can take the scale here and we can move it to the left and change the scale. See how it starts removing uh, more of that white edge. So you can adjust that accordingly to the way that you like it. You know, I could come like this and get just give get, get that uh, on the edges like that. But I like some of the white border in there. So I'm going to take it down to maybe right around in here. Now, here's a little really cool little feature in here called Vary. Watch when I click this. It'll vary the look of the image when I click this. Okay. And I think right there looks good. I'm going to stop there. Let's come up to Basic Adjustments. And I think I might just take my brightness and increase it a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. Now, we have this detail extraction, which is really cool. It'll extract detail out of the image like this, which I don't like that. It looks too gaudy. I'm going to leave that off, but I just want to show you, you do have that. And also, we can play with the contrast. We can pull the contrast back or give it a little more contrast if we want to. And I might just give it a smidge more contrast and maybe just a little bit more brightness. That's too much. Maybe right right about there and let's try the saturation do we want more saturation no do we want less i think maybe maybe right around in here now let's compare here's the before and here's the after let's see let's just click ok and that'll send us right back into photoshop okay and here we go now we started from this image right here and then we added uh the uh Film effects from uh, Color Effects Pro 4 to it. We came to this look here. And then I went into uh, Topaz Studio 2, added some scratches to it, dust and scratches. And then back into the Nick Collection, uh, which was Analog Effects Pro 2, and added the border on it. And now we're done. So there's our vintage photo creation. Well, there it is. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Hey, if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.